Hi everyone. In this video, we'll discuss an important use case in Power Automate approval. In this Power Automate approval request, you might have seen that in detail section, you cannot customize this, right? Only you can add either dynamic content or static text. But if you want to make it more rich formatting, you have to use markdowns. Microsoft has already created a uh, you know, article here where you can uh, go through and learn how markdowns are used, but I'm just showing way to use cases. Let's you want to make this as a header here in this uh, email in this approval body. There, there is a section called as from this from I want this from text. I want to make it as a uh, header header two in HTML heading two, right? In here also, I want to make it heading two. So you can use double hash. Double hash means it will convert this to a heading okay also if you want to add a link here let's say i want to add a link which name is let's say subchief and this link whenever you want to create a link on the details section so here you need to define the uh, the url you can man you can check here if there is any syntax error you can check it here or uh, you see inside that you need to use the link so my website link is uh, this one sub chief and i can copy this let's say this is the link i want to place in my approval body so what i can do i can place in the normal bracket and at first i want to mention the label to display in square bracket now this will create a link on your body in, in your approval body now save it and test it see if these markdowns are working if you want to check all other markdowns like tables and other things you can use here how table is structured and how emphasis bold italic strike through are used how special characters are used so go through this website and check how markdowns are used in power automate approval email body let me test this how it is working Click on test and test this. I should get an email with this from to region in bold or in heading. Also, there should be a uh, link. Now let me check that. I refresh this, or after some time, it will drop your email in the inbox to check from the Power Automate. Let us wait. most of the times if you want to customize your uh, details section of your approval this is very helpful now click here and you see these three are representing as header and here also it is representing as a clickable link if you click it will open now this is how you can use markdowns instead of just static text you can use this formatting as because html is not supported you can take help of markdowns